Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. I'm gonna be making something called prison pasta. Now what that is, is uh, if you watch uh, Larry Lawton's channel, he does a, he actually does a cooking video at home called prison pasta. Now what it is, it's garlic, pepperoni, and spaghetti with a little bit of olive oil. And I just thought it looked interesting. Now I'm gonna be doing this on the tailgate, so I'm not gonna be doing that um, on the in, at home because uh, he uses a microwave and he uses um, what's called a stinger. It's you take an electrical cord and you pull it off the uh, like a lamp. You pull it off the base of the lamp, so you have where you plug in, and then they opened up the end and they um, basically wrap the the cord the, the lines around a. Um, a piece of metal and then they drop it into a pot and then they plug it in and then the electrical current will go to the metal and they heat the metal up and then boil the water. I'm going to be using a stove. I would be doing this at a campsite but my uh, my feet were hurting. The work boots that I have are are hurting the sides of my feet. In fact I've got a blister on the, the left foot so I didn't want to risk going out to the woods aggravating it more but I figured I can at least stand around here at the truck so uh yeah i'm gonna get that going let's get that going all right so in the um jailhouse commissary you can get pepperoni so that's one of the ingredients they get and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw it into a skillet here if i can open a damn thing And I don't have the heat on just yet, but I'm going to throw this in there. Now what they would do in the prison, from what I understand, is they would throw the... They would just basically put on like a layer of paper towel, a layer of pepperoni, and then, and then another layer of um, paper towel, then pepperoni, and, and then they would nuke the whole thing until the pepperonis were all crispy to where you could crumble them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan cook these and get them all crispy and then we'll go from there. I got just a little bit of olive oil just to get things started. I'm using a butane stove. That should be probably more than enough because I'm only making enough for one. And by the way, these are shelf stable, so if you're cooking for a whole group or for two or three people, I'd probably use the whole package. So let's get the uh, stove fired up. I get that pepperoni frying, get it all nice and crisp. And what I've got to collect the oil in, move my coffee is uh, I'm going to put down a piece of foil just to contain the, the grease from the, uh, the pepperoni and then I just have these um, napkins from home that I'm going to put down just to catch the, uh, just to soak up all the extra grease. There we go. That's ready. Pepper is already starting to cook. I'm just going to stir it a lot and really keep my eye on this so it doesn't burn. In fact, I might even turn it down a little bit. Okay. Alright, get you a close up of the pepperoni. Now, I don't know if I would want to sleep in the same camp I made this in because the whole. Even though I'm outside by the truck, it just reeks of pepperoni out here, so maybe you should stop somewhere midday and you just want a bite to eat, you could do this, but I don't know if I would want to do this with critters around. I suppose if you're at a paid site, it might be a little bit better, maybe, because there'd be more people, but I sure as hell wouldn't want to do this out in the middle of nowhere if I was going to be sleeping in that same spot, so maybe do up a a camp nearby and then just move on 
trying to keep them turning constantly so they don't get burnt. Wow, it's a real strong smell in it. It's quite smoky too. I think that's starting to look pretty good. So I'm going to get this pulled and immediately transfer it to a paper towel. I got a couple of crispy, crispy ones, but it's all right. I'm going to switch. Got my pot of water here ready to go. So I'm going to switch pots. And crank up the heat. For boiling. I'm going to add, I got a little bit of kosher salt here. I'm just going to salt my water. And get the lid on. What I've got here is I've got, I would say about one portion of spaghetti noodles that I got from home and I just broke it in half. So, make sure. Yeah, some of these are a little crisp, but uh, I don't think that's going to be a, a major issue once I get everything mixed in there. I can always pick them out if need be. So, that's what I meant by crispy. You can, well, this, the center is not super crisp-ish, but it'll still do. So while I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'll just go ahead and wipe out the extra oil out of the pan. There we go. Nice and clean. And ready for a panic. Alrighty. We are at the first stage of bubble action. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I am eagerly anticipate trying this uh, munch on a pepperoni real quick. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Lots of purry boil. Well, almost boil, but I'm going to call it good enough to get my pasta going. Get my pasta pulled out. There we go. Like any pasta, you want to you want to stir it so it doesn't stick together. Like that. Put the lid. Put the lid back on. Right. Okay, so I realized that I actually forgotten a step, and that was, uh, so I'm actually going to put a little bit more oil back in here. I should have just left with the, left with the pepperoni oil, it would have been tasty, but I forgot a step, and that is, he added, uh, he had fresh garlic, now I have jarred garlic, which I admit is not as good, but the thing is, with me, as I don't, I only cook on the weekends now because of my new diet. So, um, a, a clove of garlic that have literally sat around the house for a week until the next weekend, and but then I have to cook something with garlic. I mean, not that I don't like cooking with garlic. I mean, I like garlic, but once this pasta comes off the stove here. I'm gonna put the pan on and then just warm up the oil and crisp up the um, the garlic in there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And it's just been boiling along nicely. I'm continuously stirring it, make sure it doesn't stick together. And I don't have a wall to throw it up against to see if it's done, but I do have, uh, I'll just pull it out and knead it and see if it's close. I don't mind if it's a little al dente. In fact, I could actually put the pasta right in the pan and kind of toss it that way, which may be what I'll do now. So, all right, so I just did this off camera, but I'm gonna show you how I check pasta. And I do this at home too, it's really not that difficult. I just pull one out and I just 
take a little bite. Still a little identate for me, so I'm gonna let it cook just another minute or two and then we'll check it again. All right, been a couple minutes, give it a test. Um, I was thinking, kicking myself slightly for throwing away the, um, the oil that had the pepperoni in it to get all that flavor. So what I ended up doing is I just threw four slices in and when I'm heating that up, I will uh, let that pepperoni crisp and then I'll, I'll release a little bit of oil. I also realized like in Dummy I forgot to bring um, Parmesan cheese. Damn it, Mark. Yeah, it's really getting close, so. <clears throat> Alrighty, pasta is done, so I'm going to take this off. Turn the heat up. Get the water drained. There we go, got some pasta. Let that crisp up. Oh man, that garlic smell. Whew. There's gonna be no vampires here, I'll tell you that. Well, take a look at that. I can zoom in. Look at that. Now, if one thing I was worried about, which is happening, is that the uh, garlic is cooking up faster than the pepperoni, but that's yeah, all right. Go ahead and throw the spaghetti in there. Oops. One for the birds. Wow, oh, another one for the birds. No. Looks like it absorbed all the <clears throat> all the olive oil and the other flavor, so let's kill the heat. Let's add the pepperoni. Now because they're all crisp, you can just literally just break them all up into basically looks like little garlic pieces or pepperoni pieces, just like that. Some are big, some are small, doesn't matter, it's all good. Now I could, I may have to kick myself for forgetting um, Parmesan cheese. How could I forget that? I even reminded myself. Damn it, Mark. Bad right. YouTuber. Let's give this guy a taste. The pepperoni sure likes to jump out of here, doesn't it? Just a simple... Hmm. 
try to get some with some pepperoni bites in it. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, I cleaned that pan. That was surprisingly really good even without the cheese I'm sure you could use uh, any kind of pasta too like maybe macaroni or something else but man that was awesome I would definitely eat that again nice flavor um, a little garlicky which I like garlic plus uh, the pepperoni has got a little bit of I wouldn't say it was spicy, but it's got some bold flavor as pepperoni does. So that was coming through nice and strong. A solid meal. So anyway, uh, check out Larry Lawton's channel down in the description. I'll actually link his prison pasta video down below so you can go check it out if you're interested. <clears throat> See how I made it. It's like a it's like a 24 minute video, so. He goes over a lot of the process, which I didn't go over. The layering of the the layering of the pepperoni and then microwaving it so it's crispy. I just did it in the pan, simple enough. I probably could have done the whole thing in the, you know, in the um, Stanley set, but you know, I just did it with. Yeah, you know, I didn't go to the. You know, I'm not packing it. So, like I said, with the strong smells, I'd probably do it as a day trip, at most maybe. Or just cook it far away from camp. Because the, the, the smells while I was cooking it were everywhere. So it was good though. Highly recommend it if you want to try it. And you know, you could use turkey pe pepperoni if you wanted to. Or you know, they got the fat free stuff if that's you know your jam. You know, whatever. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one.